Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to redirect your site if you're moving to a new domain or if you need just to redirect content on your site and preserve your search engine rankings. It's very important and I've seen this happen multiple times throughout my career when I've had to start a, start a website on a different domain. So for example, I have, I have started two startups in previous years to where we had to start on one, the .net domain, and another, the, the .mobi domain. Reason being, the .coms were already registered and we didn't want to deplete our startup budget by buying an expensive premium name. But in each startup, as they got off the ground and started to make money, we went to the broker and, and ended up purchasing the .coms uh, for the respective prices. Now the problem with this was we had actually already built the site, built the business, and started to build search engine rankings. So we had to make sure that everything transferred correctly. And you may find yourself in this situation. I know some people have reached out to us before because they're rebranding and they, they don't want to lose their search engine rankings. They don't want to lose their backlinks, but they need to move their domain to a new brand. So at Name Hero, we make this very easy. Um, first thing you need to do is log into your account. Um, you can see I'm logged into mine. Um, I'm going to click on Cloud Web Hosting. I'm going to click on the package of the domain that I need to um, create the redirect. So for this example, I'm going to use my basic plus package. And then I need to go into cPanel. cPanel makes this absolutely easier than anything else. Now you can go and create your custom HT access file and I'll have directions on our blog how to do that. Um, but sometimes that can be confusing, especially if um, you don't know exactly what you're doing. Editing the HTAccess access file can be a little complicated. Instead, I recommend people use cPanel. So all you do is type in redirects up here, and you can see it comes right up under domains, and we'll click this. And here's where you can do it. Um, so this allows you to redirect um, to any domain inside of your cPanel account, and you can do a 301 or a 302. So let's, let's go through this really quick. Uh, first, you can choose between 301 permanent or 302 temporary. Uh, in most cases, you want to use the 301 because this tells the search engines that the content has permanently been moved and this will pass the backlinks back and the um, search engine rankings to your new domain. So in most cases, you're going to select that. Next, you're going to see that this can be to... Um, this can be for any of your domains that you've set up inside of cPanel or a specific one. So, for example, this is Halloween costume blog, so I can select this. And now I can redirect to my new site. Um, so what I recommend doing is if you have your, your old sites and you want to first move the content, um, obviously you don't want to keep the content on the page. Once the content is moved to the new site, then you can come in here and set this up. So this here would redirect just the main site and maybe you want to do just the main index.php and you would redirect it to your new site. Um, let's just say mynewsite.com slash index.php. And you can put redirect with or without the www, or you can put just the www or no www. It's up to your preference. Most of the time, you're going to select redirect with or without. Um, so now, once you add this, anyone that goes to HalloweenCostumeBlog.com index.php is going to be redirected to the new site. Now, if you have a lot of posts or a lot of content, you need to set up a, a wildcard redirect, meaning that anyone that goes to a certain directory um, should be forwarded. So let's say your directory is slash post, slash, let's just say slash blog, slash post. You would set it up like this to where it's HalloweenCostumeBlog.com slash blog slash post, and then you would redirect this to your new site slash blog slash post or wherever you've moved the post to, and then you would click wildcard redirect and click add. Now this is going to redirect, so then anything after post is going to redirect here. So maybe the, the post name here, maybe, maybe you have multiple posts that look like this, and so they will all redirect to the new site like that. Um, and this is, again, this is very effective because cPanel, you can just add everything in here and you can watch um, all your current redirects compile in here. And this is automatically going to insert them into your HD access file. Um, so this is how you move it, and, and this, um, you, you would be working in the cPanel of the old domain. Now, if you have already created a new cPanel for the new domain, then you would just add it as an add-on domain, and you could work with it that way. But in my opinion, this is the easiest way to go about it. Now, if you click this documentation link, you can see I've already got it brought up here. Um, cPanel has some really good docs here that they've, they keep updated. You can see it was updated last month. Um, so you can read through here. 
And um, this will give you some tips and tricks if you have something a little bit more um, complex. For example, if you're changing the actual file name, this will give you some um, information about it. Um, it. It talks about the protocol, which is important. You know, if you're moving from uh, non-secure to secure or using FTP or something like that. Um, so you can go through here and kind of use this stuff. This is important because sometimes um, applications such as Drupal will edit your HD access file. So this is kind of how to fix that if that happens. Um, but you, then it gives, tells you how to remove it and um, search your redirects and all that stuff. So a good piece of documentation if you're wanting to do this to, to use the redirects. Um, but again, me personally, I've done this for many of, many of my sites that I've moved, is using this redirect module inside of cPanel. It makes it so much easier um, than actually going into the HD access file and, and you worry about making a mistake there. Um, the 302 temporary, like I said, you're not going to see much need for that um, just because um, most of the time you don't temporarily move content. If you move it, it's with the 301, which will pass the search engine rankings. Um, after you get everything added, then you just start typing it in your browser and making sure everything works. You want to make sure that your DNS is propagated and updated because um, that's a common problem we have. But other than that, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our team. We're, we're, um, we're free to help you out and, and make sure that your um, old website redirects properly to your new website and that you don't lose those search engine rankings because that would be a shame. I know a lot of people get um, really uneasy too about duplicate content on Google. As long as you're redirecting these correctly with 301s, you're not going to get penalized for duplicate, duplicate content. And I still kind of think that that's a um, kind of a false kind of a white lie by Google. I don't think they really punish for duplicate content, which I know some people may argue that, but I just don't really believe it. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. That's how you redirect your site, though. Um, thanks a bunch for using NameHero.com.